being an anti-Valentine's Day episode. Okay. What is your worst date? I don't think I've been on a worst date, mm -hmm. but there have been some lackluster ones la. Oh dear. Yeah. How, like, how were they lackluster? I mean sometimes like you know, first date when you meet the person and then you just know that no chemistry. nothing's gonna click. No sparks. No. Yes. Or like poor restaurant choice. What would uh, constitute a poor choice in restaurants? I think it has to be like good food, first of all. Because you don't know like how the chemistry will be like. So if food is good, it's at least something that we can all fall back on, right? So like a common denominator. Exactly. Like. And then at least it's not a wasted meal. Because it's like, if you end up not liking the company and the food sucked as well, then it's like, huh? A complete waste of makeup. Oh, yes. And to you, makeup is incredibly important. Yes. What about yours? I'm sure you have um, some great stories. <laughs> so I just moved to London and uh, I went on a date with this gorgeous English lad. Mm -hmm. He spoke Mandarin, mm -hmm. which I thought was just like, mm -hmm. of course. He took me to have Chinese takeout in Brixton. And it was my first time in South London. So everything was just incredibly novel. Wow, okay, yeah, a whole new yeah. world lah. We had dinner and on our way to drinks at Regent mm -hmm. Street, on the tube, I felt this like churning, oh. this shrill pain in my tummy. And then at the same time, I had to, I had to adult. So I had to maintain focus, poker face. And then at the same time also, he was just flexing his Mandarin skills to me. Of course, I had to like, mm -hmm, sway, oh my gosh, ha 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 ha, you know, the whole drill. La. And then once we reached Piccadilly Circus, and I was just like, oh my gosh. So and then I just bolted to Hotel Cafe Royale to use the loo. Mm. For some reason, he couldn't get in. Only I managed to go in. He wasn't dressed. Yeah, he wasn't open to, yeah. So then I was just like, okay, wait for me there. And then so I was just, I must have spent, I don't know, a good half an hour. Okay, so you know I don't do cardio. You know I don't do cardio. Yeah. But boy, did I have the runs, okay? Straight up. So then I must have spent, I don't know, a half an hour to an hour in the loo and then... An hour? Well, well what, when I came I mean, out... I know, I've waited for you before. Okay. So when I came out, yeah. he'd already left. So like, maybe, okay, like we, just left, left. Yeah, yeah, so he disappeared lah. And then, um, so maybe that was his worst date. But my best date? What? Like, so you didn't text him, he didn't call you anything? Like, just... Yeah, and then we, we both, I think, we ghosted each other out of um, courtesy. La. That is so strange. <laughs> Tell me what's your earliest memory of food? It can be anything. Cooking, cleaning, washing up. The first thing that came to my mind was my nanny, her cooking sesame oil chicken. Like, you know those very old school dishes that like grandmothers will make? I love eating that dish and every time like I would wake up from afternoon nap and the whole house would be of the awesome like aroma. That was my first. <laughs> That's my first memory somehow. And then I think like home wise, I think when I was younger, when we used to have a helper, um, every Sunday, uh, she would cook this like home stir fried noodles. It's like you know those flat yellow noodles and thick bihun, and then it's just like tauge, egg. Fish cake, something prawn. unfast la. Yeah, 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 but it's, it's just very homey and then mm. like we will have homemade like uh, fried onions on top and then chilli, oh my god. Sure. What is it about eating that you so enjoy? <laughs> and you're the best person to ask about this. It's a very integral part of life to me because yes. like I can't just, I'm not the person who can just eat to like fill my tummy. It always has to be something that I enjoy. Yeah, so I mean like you live to eat or you eat to live. Definitely live to sure. eat, yeah. yeah. I think like from day to day, it's just a way to enjoy life. Mm. You know because you're always, we're always busy from one thing to another, but like food is, whether you eat alone or with friends or family, it's always a good time to just be present lah in mm. a way, yeah. 
most of the time when it comes to meals, it's not about necessarily about the food, it's about the company that you mm -hmm. eat it with. I'd rather eat alone than eat with people that I don't enjoy. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. And you have no qualms eating alone. Mm, of course. Oh my god, we're so alone. <laughs> <laughs> so what is your go-to comfort food? My go-to comfort food, definitely... Carrot cake, black. Extra sweet sauce, extra chilli, extra spring onion. What is it about carrot cake that you love? I think it just brings, I, brings back like childhood memories. When I was really young, we would go to this um, market in Sims Drive and then we'll... Like it's just a family thing, like, we would just go and have that carrot cake and then the soy, soy bean milk. I've just always liked black carrot cake, like the savoury and sweet mix is like... I think it has just defined my palate. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah. What about you? I think my go-to comfort food is like a very warm, gratifying like cheese toasty. I see. Yeah, I remember very vividly having after school. Like for tea, I would have like a very just an unfast cheese toasty. I would have always two slices of cheese. When back then, when you knew portion control, lah. <laughs> I see. So then, yeah, I would have two slices of cheese and then um, sandwich between two white bread. Mm. Love white bread. Wow. <laughs> And then I would just have it as a snack, and then as I was watching cartoons or something. Now as I grow older, I think my, my love for cheese toast Cheese toast, but like truffle cheese lah. I was going to say, well now as I grow older, I think my, my love for cheese toasties, I think it hasn't changed, but I eat it with like sriracha, or like other kinds of relishes or condiments lah. Wash your hands? Yes. We live in very trying times now. Huh? Yeah. Hygiene is of the utmost importance. Yeah. Thank you. Brought to you by Ministry of Health. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at all these ginger slices. No, you're not gonna serve me, is that or what? Fine! I'll do it myself. I love serving myself. There's a lot of collagen in this lobster. Is there? I don't know. No, it's a shellfish. Do shellfish have collagen in them? Don't ask me. What is it about collagen that drives people crazy? Do you believe in in consuming beauty? I mean, I think those like collagen, eating collagen for your skin is kind of hard to guarantee. Collagen is just protein. Mm -hmm. So when you eat protein, collagen or like fish or whatever like any protein your body just breaks it down into amino acids so depending on what kind of amino acids make up that mm -hmm. protein then like your body just redistributes it wherever it needs all. so actually I don't think like the skin is very high on your body's priority list when it comes to collagen I think it goes to things like your joints mm -hmm. which obviously more important than, than your, your skin. skin, right? What is the strangest thing you've heard someone consume for beauty? Strangers, uh. like a placenta on them, the likes of placenta, mm. as in like sheep placenta or like human placenta. I, I know of three people that actually, but like when you eat your own placenta after you've given birth, it's not really about beauty, it's more about just restoring like your body with all the nutrients that was in the placenta. I thought it helps with like wrinkles or whatever. It goes in tandem. But then again, you know, it's like the beauty of your skin is really at the bottom of your body's priority. So your body redistributes it to where it needs it most. So there's no guarantee that it goes to your skin. So what can you eat to help? I think generally speaking, most like people will tell you it's antioxidants. Mm -hmm. But then again, it's like antioxidants help your body in more ways than just the skin. Mm. Lah. So what kind of food have a lot of antioxidants. Blueberries. 
berries are usually very high in general. In, mm, yeah. Mm, I mean citrus fruits lah. Salmon, that orange color is uh, actually a very powerful antioxidant. Things that we all already know, just you know, whether how consciously we practice, that's another thing. I just want to let you know that when you were talking and I put it in my mouth, I burned it. <laughs> you just switch off what I'm talking about, right? Spend the day with each other next year. Okay, well, I'll spend with my other friends now. Nevertheless, thank you for spending the day <laughs> with me this year, lah.